Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Levy and I'm going to do tarot reading for you Aquarius friends. This is a weekly reading, but it's a timeless reading. So anytime you watch this video, there's going to be the message for you for the following seven days. If you like the channel, if you like uh, my videos, uh, hit the like button. And I just started this channel, so obviously I want it to grow. So that helps a lot. Any comment below is appreciated and let's get going okay dear aquarius it's time to change and not just a little change it's like a proper change so we have here the uh, the wheel of fortune that means something in your life right now it's about to be different in the past we have here the ten of swords something is done over that's it no longer serves you no longer be there for you no longer you no longer get any benefit out of it this is done so it's time to move on the good thing is that you are pretty intelligent you're pretty smart so uh, moving on is not uh, a problem however the question is that intelligence you have it in your little uh, above your neck how are you going to use it right so if you want to uh, if you want to use it in a positive way then you can get where you want but if you try to use old memories old patterns old problems and have them in the future with you then this is scarcity mindset this is problem this is issue this is unhealth this is this is problem so we have we have this in the past and we have this in the future in your head they are not ex they're non-existent they know not exist they don't exist they only in your head and if you think that you don't deserve you can't have it it's already lost it cannot be replaced uh, whatever whatever then this is what is gonna be so I would suggest to please move on to a different uh, different plateau okay because you are intelligent you you can you can make judgment it's, it's you can separate things okay by separate it in a, in a right way not in a, in a being a, a, like being scared of oh what what comes what's the future like okay and you have here the wheel of um, uh, sorry you have here the chariot which is um, which is change again and movement that can be relocations where maybe you fed up of something and you want to move some somewhere else maybe you just broke up and you move on to the new um, you know you move away or whatever um, together with the, with, the, with the wheel of fortune is important you have this is major arcana cards both um, there are three in here so why this is this signifies change and this shows you that you have the opportunity to make something and you get what you deserve but this is the this is uh, telling you that yes you have what you deserve if you are able to control your emotions, your thoughts, your physical, everything. So the black and white represent like a different aspects of our life. The chariot in this picture is stationary. Yes, this guy is really there and he wants to he wants to move somewhere. He wants to go away. He wants to progress, but he's not moving anywhere. Okay, so you have everything everything ready for you. You have all the strengths. You you have all the um, uh, the skills, everything, the knowledge, the understanding, the universe is on your side. And what you do, you sit there and wait. I'm sorry, you need to make the move. Simple as that. And and uh, if you don't make the move, well, sorry, you don't have an option not to make the move. Okay, that's <laughs> simple as that. Because because the food is there, this start the journey. This this number zero and number twenty two. That's the end of the deck. That's the end of the major arcana. That's done. So that means it's the first step in a new chapter. You're not going to make that. 
there is no options. I'm sorry, the, the, the field of fortune already throw you in the, into this place and you are removing regardless of you actually making progress or not because you are in the new you are in the new place this is it you're moving uh, no question i mean well you felt safe and you felt great and you know in the past you have the ninth of uh, of pentacles you felt like everything is going to the right direction you are pretty safe and enjoy your life and you're fulfilled and you don't have to do anything and then maybe it realized with the seven of um, of cups that that was just an illusion. This card is illusion and delusion. Okay, you might thought everything is there for you, amazing, brilliant, blah blah blah, and now it went all out of the window, and now you try to catch up with uh, with uh, everything. No, you don't have to. You don't have to catch up. You don't need to catch up. You don't. You just have to. Uh, make the move but not hastily make sure you don't hurt anyone you don't uh, walk over anyone you don't uh, judge anyone because you don't have a right to do that we said you are intelligent but use your intelligence for something worthwhile not something just uh, feel like you are superior and you can do anything you like and tell people whatever they like because they are less intelligent than you are well there is an intelligent in your mind and there is emotional intelligence as well intelligence as well people can feel right so if you are not genuine people can feel that if you don't want to support them they can feel it okay so if you just want to take advantage of anybody don't do that please be kind be nice and uh, work like slowly like work out expand your comfort zone create something more slowly because there is some some abundance waiting for you there is some stability waiting for you again so there will be a, a, a better but a bit you need more time to reach that okay so you thought what you have is there but turns out is not but it doesn't mean you have to like oh my god if it wasn't that then i ever had it no it's not true if it wasn't there you realize that now you can move on to somewhere where you feel hmm this is the one that feels different and indeed it's going to feel different because it's real and who's going to give you all the support to get there the wheel of fortune okay because you get what you deserve if you deserve good you're gonna get good if you deserve not good then i'm sorry you don't have a say okay so um i'm not saying that everything will be easy and there's not gonna be any competition and there won't be any challenges and people agree with you and help you and all, all along the way no actually it's not because when you start changing you ch start changing the way you are and the way you behave and who you were people will realize that and they say well you know, I might, I prefer the guy who you were before, but then you say, well, I'm no longer that guy. So then decision, you have to be made, which is more important for you, the connection or you yourself and your happiness and fulfillment and abundance in life. Because if you try to conform and just make other people happy, I don't know how, how happy you will be. Because everybody else has different expectations to, uh, towards us. So how can we be happy? If we try to make everybody else happy, it's not gonna work. So there will be challenges, there will be disagreement, people are not uh, gonna be happy about the new ways of you doing, the new, I don't know, new haircut, new clothes, new. This is you, this is your new you for a new cycle, for a new next, I don't know, uh, 20 years of your life. You wanna be the same? person who were in the last 20 years it's impossible it's impossible you have to be somebody else somebody else somebody better somebody um, more open somebody who, who's ready to learn somebody who's ready to um, to take on the challenge who is not afraid because this the fool here trust the universe that is going to make the right step and is not going to step into the uh, like stepping into the unknown but he believes that there is something something there which is in, invisible at the moment 
and you within you need to trust yourself and there's nobody else can trust for you it's only you you need to trust yourself and understand that you are you are on the right path why because you've done a lot of improvement you've done a lot of work a lot of self development throughout the, the, the years and throughout the past lives as well you've done a lot so now it's time to systemize time to bring things down and try to even teach even show the way to others who need to feel but for that you cannot be scared you need to feel that this is the right path and on that um, let me give you a few cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, which is a really nice deck of cards, beautiful imaginary, imaginary and, um, and just only one word on each card, but I think it's pretty powerful. So all those who need advice, a bit more than just the tarot cards, that this Oracle deck on a daily basis can give you something new. Right. Stillness, embracing, and enlightenment. So as I as as I said, it comes together. So stillness. You need to move on for where you are. So stillness is no longer serving you. Okay, and embracing, embrace. Embrace what comes. Embrace the embrace the next, the next um, um, next path. What comes in front of you? And look at this. The the candle just finished. I told you it's the end of a cycle, a new cycle to start. Okay, could have nothing is an accident. Okay, this tells you exactly what's happening. Move on, embrace the new challenges, embrace the new um, uh, opportunities. And enlightenment, I just did. And light, I just light that candle. It's enlightenment. This is what is waiting for you if you embrace the challenge and move out from stillness. So thank you very much, dear Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hit the like button and... Um, um, any comment is very much appreciated and I will come back for with more videos so thank you so much it was a pleasure doing this for you thank you